Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be me organizing my TV console. Well, let's just jump into it. And this is my minimal TV stand. It is the IKEA Bias TV unit. We actually got this secondhand from one of my husband's friends. From the outside, it doesn't look too messy as I keep it very minimal, but the inside is where the problem is. I've been avoiding cleaning up these drawers since I moved in with my husband. I kind of just throw everything in here and I don't really know what lives in here so I'm excited to tackle this finally and once again bring you into my decluttering and organization process. First I am emptying out the whole TV stand. This allows me to touch everything in here and think about whether I need it. Having an empty TV stand will allow me to dust and clean the insides really well before putting everything back in there. I know this step might seem super straightforward, but it's a good habit to build when organizing things. I am dry dusting first with a Swiffer dusting wand. I'm not sure the name, but you guys know what it is. I've definitely grown a love for cleaning through minimalism. I find that having less stuff means less stuff to clean, and that definitely saves time and gives me peace of mind. As I film some of my organization and decluttering videos, I can't help but think to myself like, hmm, I wonder if people will like this video. I wonder if people will, will resonate, you know, because I myself feel like my space doesn't look like how everybody's spaces look like. I guess in my age group, there's a lot of influencing around decor and like how things look a certain way. I feel like everyone's home is becoming like a copycat of everyone's home and I'm trying to be different and I'm trying to give my home like a personal touch. So take this video as your sign that you don't have to have an influencer TV console with a bazillion vases and decor and this and third. And I'm talking to myself as well. I am now going in with a microfiber cloth and a one-to-one -one mixture of water and vinegar to wipe down the surfaces and I love this mixture for disinfecting and if you're going to use it just be sure to not use it on any marble or like natural stone because the vinegar is too acidic for it. Once everything in the TV stand is laid out where I can see it, I'm just gonna take it back and throw away what I know I don't need and is trash. I don't show it here, but I also took any items I thought I should donate and set them aside. I think it's because I only found one or two items that I needed to donate. Um, the rest of them I kept and gave it a different home if I didn't want it in the TV console. If you're easily distracted by paper clutter like me, then I recommend setting a timer for this part because I was really reading some of the paper clutter I had in here and it took too long to say the least. Now it's time to declutter my magazines and books. There are quite a few magazines that I don't really look through as much, like the travel leisure ones. So I'm getting rid of those. I think I'm going to donate them. And everything else I am going to keep. I love HGTV magazines for some reason. They're just, I love to look through them. I'm a magazine girl. I feel like I'm such a millennial for that. I'm very visual and I love like just flipping through it. You know, it's lighter than a book.
whatever is left over from that decluttering i am just putting back into the drawers of the tv console In this drawer, I'm storing extra batteries, even though I want to find a different home for them because I don't know, I just don't really want to store batteries in the TV console. I feel like there's a better home for it, but for now, this will do. I love storing things in like baskets so they won't slide around. So this is like a like a clear container bin that I got from Home Goods a long time ago. And I'm just adding some cables that I reach for and remotes and just little plugins that I need along with some microfiber towels in case I need to dust the TV console and we are almost there you guys just returning everything back in its place and I keep these um, coffee table books and magazines and other reading materials here because I don't have a coffee table so this will work for now And this is much better there's less things in here and this is my overflow of candles the trim wicker I like this spot for these items I put the overflow of books that I had in there so we're gonna create a binder to store the instruction manuals for appliances and I'm using dollar store supplies so it doesn't have to be complicated or expensive. I already have a Cricut machine so I want to make good use of it and I'm just creating a pretty gold sticker that says manuals to label the binder. Now that that's on, I'm going to go ahead and insert the sheet protectors and the dividers and label them by category and just stick those manuals in there. I'm testing the system out to see if it works for me. My first impression is that it's a bit bulky, but I think it'll work. It'll kind of sit pretty in the drawers, so that's good enough for me. And that's the final look. I hope this video inspired you to declutter another one of your spaces. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you want to see more from me. Bye for now.